The lawyers of the Department of Transportation or DOTR filed a graph complaint before the Office of the Ombudsman against former Department of Transportation and Communications or DOTC Secretary Joseph Emilio Abaya and several other former officials of the said agency. The complaints stem from the allegedly anomalous contract they entered into for the maintenance of the Metro Rail Transit or MRT3. Among those included in the complaint are former DOTC Undersecretary for Operations Irvin Lopez, Undersecretary for Planning and Head Negotiating Team Rene Limcauco, Undersecretary for Procurement and Administration Catherine Jennifer Gonzalez, former Assistant Secretary for Bids and Awards Committee Camille Alcaraz, former MRT3 General Manager Roman Buenafe, and several officials of the Busan Universal Rails Incorporated or BURI. Based on the 29-page complaint, the DOTR questioned the alleged 3.81 billion peso contract that then DOTC entered into with Buri when in fact, the company if should had negotiated with was the Busan Joint Adventure. DOTR Undersecretary for Legal Affairs, Attorney Rainier Yebra explains it is a clear violation of the Republic Act 3019 or the Anti-Graph and Corrupt Practices Act since the two companies are different. The Busan Joint Venture participated in the public bidding Okay, in the bidding, and it was to whom the contract was awarded to. However, now, as presently, instead of forming a uh, joint venture as required by law, what they did was they formed a special purpose company uh, called Buri, and now it's being implemented and being handled by Buri. So we think that we felt that that in itself is anomalous or something irregular. The DOTR officials want Abaya and his co-accused explain why they entered such a transaction. In a text message, Abaya said he has yet to receive a copy of the complaint, but argued the contract they entered with Buri is in accordance with the procurement law. Meanwhile, former MRT General Manager Roman Bonafé and Buri refused to give their sides regarding the allegations stated in the said complaint. Joan Anano, UNCV News and Rescue, Quezon City.